Hey guys, and welcome to the deck profile for Bowling Boxer You Bell. So, it is being taken off of Violin Y. I know it's sad, but it just didn't have the synergy that I was hoping it would have. Maybe if the, if the monsters were dark, maybe, I don't know. But uh, in the end, it just wasn't working out, and we decided to take it off. It sounded good on paper, it did, but it just didn't have any synergy. I know I'm not the first one to test out this deck and try to make it work, but in the end, it didn't work. But if you guys want to continue working on it, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the deck profile. You guys can go ahead and try it on your own time. So we're running two Glass Jaws. Uh, Glass Jaw is pretty decent because when he's sent to the graveyard, uh, you can go ahead and target a Battling Boxer monster in your graveyard and add that target to your hand. Uh, the only problem is that he's not dark, so, you know, even if you were to have a little bit of synergy with, like, sending to the graveyard, like, through Armageddon Knight, uh, you know, it's just not the best because he's not dark. I guess Mathematician would also work as well, but, uh, yeah, just really wasn't working out. Next we run. Three of the Sparrers. Uh, Sparrer is really good. If you control a battling boxer, you can special summon this card from your hand. Can't talk to battle phase, but at least you can go easily to a lead blow if you have this guy in your hand. So you just go normal summon, special summon, and bam, there you go. There's a lead blow. Or, uh, was it lead yoke? I always call him by his Japanese name because it just sounds funnier. Like, lead blow sounds way funnier than lead yoke. But, <laughs> uh, next we run three battling boxer switch hitter. So, uh, when this card is normal summon, you could target one of your battling box monsters in your graveyard and special summon it. Can't special summon uh, any other monsters to turn you out to base this effect, but once again, you can easily go into a lead blow, so uh, definitely a card that you should definitely be running at three in a battling boxer deck. We run three headgear because it's kind of like a uh, foolish that can send a battling boxer and then I can revive it with the monster born that battling boxers have, but really the reason why I'm running at 3 is because once per turn, the face up attack position card can't be shown at battle, so you summon him, the attack can't be shown at battle, next turn you summon another one, and go ahead and go into your lead blow, so that's the reason why I like to run this guy at 3 instead of 2, because that additional effect at the end. Next we run some of the U-Bell stuff, so we run 3 Mass Chameleons. Uh, not only can Mass Chameleon bring back U-Bell, but it can also bring back Phantom and Chaos to go into some sy synchronic sea plays, and it can also revive uh, Glassjaw as well, because he has zero defense. So definitely a very helpful card in this deck. If you're going to run Battling Boxers and just Battling Boxers, I definitely recommend that you run Mass Chameleon in your deck. Let's run one Dark Refer, because you know how I am. I'm always drawing forms of U-Bell. doesn't matter if it's first, second, or third, so I might as well run one Dark Refer just to make sure that Dark Refer can keep track of the U-Bells in my hand to make sure that I send the correct things. Then we run three Armageddon Knights because I was worried about consistency and I really couldn't think of anything else to run. So I decided just to put uh, Armageddon Knight up to three just to make sure that I send what I need to send. Uh, really, now looking at it, I don't think he should be at three. Definitely two would be fine, but I don't know what I was thinking. But, you know, sending you belt to the graveyard is definitely important, so uh, it's not too hurtful. And in the end, it is still uh, a level four, and it is a warrior, so you can't go into those warrior plays if you run uh, that in your U-Belt deck, such as uh, um, uh, Blade Armor Ninja and uh, Excalibur. We run one Phantom of Chaos because uh, you can go ahead and send it to the graveyard. It's dark, you can send it easily to the graveyard with Armageddon Night Dark Graffer, and it can easily be revived with Mass Chameleon or Debris Dragon to go into some Synchro Sus Exceed plays. Uh, definitely, if I'm running any U-Bell deck that runs Mass Chameleon or Debris Dragon, I'm going to splash in one Phantom of Chaos just to make sure that it opens up my plays. And we run one Debris Dragon. Debris Dragon can revive a monster at 500 attack or less. AE being you bell, and it can also revive uh, Phantom of Chaos and go into XC plays, not Synchro, because you can't sync 8 with a 4, so, uh, and it has to be Dragon, but you're not Synchroing with this card, so, yeah. And I believe that's the only target that, uh, target that uh, Debris has, so it's not the best card, Debris Dragon, but it's decent. And then we run the three forms of you bell, of course, because this is supposed to be you bell deck. Uh, onto the spells, we run one Dark Hole, just, you know, uh, sometimes this deck takes a little while to set up, so uh, it's nice to go ahead and Dark Hole, and Dark Hole is always a great card. Uh, I will always remember it as a staple and run it in main deck it, and if it's not appropriate in a certain duel, it's, it's a good target to side out, so in my opinion, Dark Hole is definitely still a staple. 
run one foolish to go ahead and send whatever you need, get nice and set up, whether it be a bowling boxer or a uh, Fentral Chaos when you bow, send what you need to send to the graveyard, run one Rota because not only are Dark Greffer and Armageddon Knight Warriors, but also the rest of the cards in this deck, of course, being bowling boxers as warriors, so uh, definitely that works as well. You run three Battling Boxer Spirits, you send the top card of your deck to the graveyard, and then you target one Battling Boxer in your graveyard, and special summon that target in defense, in face up defense position. So, uh, once again, uh, you can go ahead and just send something to the graveyard, and uh, go ahead and bring it back with Battling Boxer Spirits. And we run three MSTs, because the back row hate is real, and, uh, you know, go ahead and just play MST wisely, and it can be a very vital card, especially in this format where Tanky is at 3. MST should definitely be at 3 staple in every deck. On to the traps. We run 3 Call the Haunted, because Call Haunted can not only revive you Bell, it can also revive the Battling Boxer monsters and help you go into your Xyz, such as a Lead Blow. You run 3 Limit Reverse, because Limit Reverse is the most important card in the Ubell deck. Uh, it is a 1 card Terra Incarnate, and that is definitely a good place to so send Ubell to the graveyard. Set that Limit Reverse, some activate Limit Reverse, summon Ubell, turn Defense Mode, destroy it, summon Terra. Definitely a great play. And 2 XYZ Reflex, so when a Spell Trap or Monster Effect is activated that targets a face of XC on the field, negate that activation. If you do, destroy it, and then inflict 800 damage to your opponent. 800 damage is just bonus, but pretty much it protects Lead Blow from spells uh, that target, uh, trying to think of one, mm, I don't know, uh, traps that target such as D Prison, and especially monster effects that target such as 101, so definitely blocking. Um, uh, I'll give my overall opinion of the deck when I'm done. Uh, we run three Battling Boxer, Lead Yoke, or Lead Blow. <laughs> Uh, definitely that main card that you go into into this deck because uh, when this card be destroyed you get attack XC material and then he gains another attack so uh, the max attack you can be is 3800 which is just an awesome beater so pretty much the gist of the deck was have Terra wipe the field but blow block himself and become stronger and stronger and start poking your opponent with this really strong monster next we run two 101s because this deck can go into four so 101 pretty much the go-to four that you want to go into. Go ahead and just swallow up your opponent's special summon monsters. Black ship, just to go ahead and send some things that you don't want to destroy, anything that's weaker than it, uh, such as like a Zen Maze or something. Uh, Exiton, you know, that your opponent might be up on resources, summon Exiton and wipe the field. Cowboy, uh, the go-to uh, guy that I definitely, uh, if you can go into fours, definitely run Cowboy, go bang bang skeet skeet for game. Best Dweller to lock down the graveyard. Uh, definitely pick one up if you haven't already because this card's going to be great against artifacts. Level of Chain will help you set up and the correct cards that you need to send to the graveyard. Diamond Direwolf to destroy any problem cards. King of the Feral Imps to go ahead and search your Mass Chameleon. Uh, number 82 to get that uh, direct attack in, get that uh, 2k that you need for a game. Then the Synchros, uh, Stardust Dragon because uh, Phantom of Ca I mean, Math Chameleon can run Phantom Chaos or uh, Glass Jaw and go ahead and go into a Synchro. So you can go into Sync 8. So I chose Stardust and uh, Scrap Dragon. Alright, guys. So, uh, overall opinion of the deck. Once again, with a lot of these decks, they're just better separate. Uh, pretty much the U Bell plays just get in the way of the Battling Boxer plays, and then the Battling Boxer plays hinder the setup of the U Bell plays. So, like a good majority of the decks that we've been testing on Vitamin Y, uh, in Vitamin Y Forever and Vitamin Ys of the past and past seasons, uh, overall opinion, uh, they should just stay separate. That this deck is just better separate. Alright guys, so this is a little short deck profile, usually I'm really long-winded, but there's not much to say about this deck, it just didn't work, like I said, it looks fine on paper, but when you play it, it just doesn't work. So, uh, you actually get a 2 uh, for 1 today, you actually get 2 vitamin Ys, so be sure to tune in at 1.30pm Pacific Time, 4.30pm Eastern Time to watch the actual episode of Vitamin Y. We will be using a new deck, which I'm very excited for. It does look like it will have some synergy, and hopefully it does well in the Vitamin Y lineup, because almost every other deck has its own gimmick and is doing really well, and pretty much this deck was the only one that's not working, so now since this one is gone, and a new deck is up in its place, which I believe has much more synergy, hopefully it can do much better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys at uh, we'll see you guys later today <laughs> with the new uh, U-Bell deck that would be replacing this one on Vitamin Y. Thanks for watching.